Hi there, my name is Rafael Morales, technical trainer for Genetech. This short video, I'm going to show you how the Cloud Link can also be, or actually is able to automatically be added to an Access Manager. So let me first go here. I know my Cloud Link has an IP address of 192.168.0.11. Now my server is also on the same subnet. My server is .102. So let me go ahead and log in. Again, using the admin account, admin username, and default password of software. Because so I'm going to configure my cloud link in a way so when I set it all up, my access manager should be able to automatically um, discover this unit. Okay? So I'm logging in. I'm going to now go here to network. Notice that the accepted access manager connection is set to something else here. It's 10.0.0.11. That is not my server. My server is 192.168.0.102. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to now save that information here. I'm also going to go to the network properties to double check. Uh, the IP address is a static IP address on my cloud link and also notice that the discovery port on my cloud link is 2000 the extension on the access manager should also be 2000 they both have to be the same okay so now I know everything is, is uh, set up properly and now I'm gonna go to config tool and we're gonna see how the panel by just making sure that the IP and discovery ports are correct and I added my access manager settings we're going to see how this panel was added automatically well notice that I'm on config tool now um, after making the changes to the cloud link I'm going to go to access control and again the server that I'm connecting to here uh, got an IP address of 192.168.0 dot 102 and the cloud link is dot 11 so I'm gonna go to access control roles and units now I'm gonna select the access manager if you guys remember that I selected the 2000 as my discovery port I know that under Genetech synergies here if I select the extension I see 2000 here and now it should be right here added automatically there it is Okay, so it'd be automatic discovery process. It does show uh, yellow um, because by default uh, it's just telling you that uh, uh, you may want to. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm using the default username and password, so I might want to go ahead and change that uh, default username and password, and um, this error is going to go away. Okay, um, I hope that this short video is useful. Um, again, is how to uh, configure a cloud link so it can be also automatically added to your access manager. Thank you very much.